Item number SCP-2019 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-2019 is to be kept unconscious through the use of sedatives and fed intravenously. One brain must be left inside SCP-2019, and all others are to be removed surgically and then incinerated. Experiments involving SCP-2019 need the approval of at least one Level 3 researcher. Description. SCP-2019 is a 5 m by 5 m by 5 m sapient cubicle organism composed of a green gelatinous substance held in place by a thick, transparent membrane. SCP-2019's membrane is highly resistant to most forms of damage, and any parts that are removed from it grow back in a matter of seconds. On the lateral faces of SCP-2019 are 37 eyes. SCP-2019 is capable of moving these eyes around its membrane to see in all directions simultaneously. SCP-2019 is also capable of creating multiple tentacular appendages to allow mobility. The interior of SCP-2019 grows brains at a rate that depends on available nutrients. At current feeding levels, SCP-2019 grows one brain every two months. When awake, SCP-2019 displays the ability to cause physical objects and living beings to manifest. It is only capable of creating objects and living beings within its line of sight, and all these creations disappear once SCP-2019 can no longer perceive them. Addendum Interview Log Interviewed SCP-2019 Interviewer Dr. Forward SCP-2019 usually communicates non-verbally through the use of its abilities. Communicating through the creation of words seems to require enormous effort on SCP-2019's part. This interview took place shortly after initial containment. Begin log. Hello, SCP-2019. Can you understand me? SCP-2019 creates a floating hand doing a thumbs-up gesture. I would like to ask you some questions if you don't mind. SCP-2019 creates a traffic light displaying a green light. How would you describe yourself? SCP-2019 creates a plate with plum pudding and a pile of paraffin. Where do you originate from? SCP-2019 creates a purple floating sphere surrounded by several rings and three smaller spheres. SCP-2019 then creates a large magnifying glass and puts it between Dr and the sphere. Several images in the magnifying glass are shown in quick succession. Multiple golden buildings connected by silver bridges can be seen. On these bridges are a large number of entities similar to SCP-2019, albeit orange in color and with only a single brain inside each one. Is this your place of origin? Are these members of your species? Can you show us more? SCP-2019 creates a floating hand doing a thumbs-up gesture. The images in the magnifying glass change to what seems to be a lake beneath the bridge. An entity similar to SCP-2019 can be seen gathering a few objects around the lake and absorbing them into its body. Is that you, SCP-2019? Are you searching for food? Why aren't you with the other members of your species? SCP-2019 creates a floating hand doing a thumbs-up gesture again. The images change to a close-up of the interior of a building. SCP-2019 can be seen surrounded by other members of its species, who are pointing spear-like objects at it. In front of SCP-2019 is a machine shaped like an upright ring. Other members of the species force it to move inside the machine, which starts emitting a bright blue light. SCP-2019 walks into the light and disappears. The machine then stops emitting the light. The image changes to a close-up of the streets of an unknown city on Earth. A sphere of blue light appears in the middle of the street, and SCP-2019 emerges from it. What does this mean? Were you banished from your place of origin? Why? SCP-2019 creates a copy of itself and of a normal member of its species. Between them is a floating does not equal symbol. You were banished from your place of origin because you were considered different from the other members of your species? SCP-2019 creates a floating hand doing a thumbs-up gesture once again. 
Do other members of your species possess the same abilities as you? Can you do anything besides creating objects and living beings? SCP-2019 creates a floating hand doing a thumbs-down gesture. SCP-2019 then creates a man dressed similar to Doctor. This man then shrugs his shoulders. What would happen to you if all of your brains were removed? SCP-2019 creates a grave marked with a drawing of an entity similar to itself. Thank you for your cooperation. This concludes our interview. SCP-2019 stretches one of its tentacle appendages and pokes Dr. in the left shoulder. SCP-2019 then creates a copy of Dr. and a machine of unknown purpose. The machine fires a laser-like beam at Dr. body, which transforms into a copy of SCP-2019. SCP-2019 then proceeds to touch its copy with its tentacle appendages. I don't understand what you mean. SCP-2019 shakes violently for several seconds before creating what appeared to be words made out of scalpels and test tubes. The meaning of these words could not be deciphered. I am sorry, but I still don't understand you. I will come back later. As Dr. B is about to leave, SCP-2019 creates a chain around Dr. B ankle and attached to the ground, preventing him from moving away. SCP-2019 then approaches Dr. B and creates several floating, stylized hearts. Dr. B calls for security and SCP-2019 is successfully subdued. Investigation into the meaning of the words created by SCP-2019 is ongoing. End log.